Hello, this is Scott Kephart with Quasar Instruments, and today I'm going to talk about preparative HPLC injection volumes. Um, to start out, I'm going to draw a typical two position six port injection valve over here. And in my other videos, I go how to plumb this, this type of injection port up, but in this one, we're just going to be talking about the uh, appropriate uh, uh, injection volume amount. So, what I'm doing is drawing the sample loop here, and in this case, uh, this will be from your injector, this will be waste, uh, this will be from your pump, and this will be to your column. So what we're going to do is really look at the uh, injection loop. So I'm going to draw that injection loop out as a straight tube, and then I'm going to draw vertical lines to represent uh, the injection volume. So the, or the total injection amount. So this is actually your injection loop and right here and right here is where your injection loop is plugging into the valve. Now when you load the sample onto uh, your sample loop it doesn't flow in a nice plug. It actually flows in a parabolic flow profile and that parabolic shape gets more and more exaggerated as you move through the column, or through the sample loop. So you can see right here that this portion of our sample is actually going out to the waistline. Now this parabolic shape is so pronounced that if you inject more than one half of your sample loop, you're gonna risk pushing sample out of the, uh, out of the end of the injection loop and into your waste bottle. So if uh, total recovery is important to you, make sure that you do not inject more than one half the volume of your sample loop uh, onto your HPLC column. 